Hello everybody on YouTube and I'm Cynthia, your coach of the German Giraffe Rates and today we are having our week 1 battle of the VPF C Division Season 5 and I'm nervous because we are battling Bowser, coach of the Super Shell Smash Brothers coming from Mario trying to steal Princess Peach or something, I don't know, I never played Mario. <laughs> Uh, he has a very scary team and I don't like it. Basically, he has Coco, Medicham, Mega Medicham, Landorus T and Scolopede, all of which are very frightening to me. Scolopede is one of the lesser threats as well as Mega Medicham because I cover Medicham pretty decently. Coco I have some things for, but it's still a big threat. Landorus though, just straight up decimates me. <laughs> if it is either Double Dance or Scarf, I have a big, big, big issue. He could also bring Trick Room, of course, with Miltank, Vaporeon, Mashana, Cryogonal, Copperaja, Tritonade or something. So that's that as well, but Trick Room I can somewhat counter, I think. It's a scary team and I'm nervous. I try to make a good counter team, but I'm bad. I'm a bad coach. <laughs> so uh, let's look at the team builder. We have Killer Vesper, the Mega Beedrill. Now, Beedrill is my main Pokemon in this team. <laughs> Adaptability, Fell Stinger, Poison Jab, Drive, and Protect. Protect we have so we can stay in on Mega Mega Jam and Protect on the Fake Out so we lift the Bullet Punch. Because Fake Out and the Bullet Punch kills us almost any time. So with Protect we at least live one hit or two hits in that case and pretty much kill with a Poison Jab. The thing is, Mega Beedrill either 2 hit KOs or 3 hit KOs most of his team. So we need to weaken most of his team first before Mega Beedrill can come in and clean up because once most things are, are worn down either by half HP or third HP Mega Beedrill just kills everything, and especially if the Felstinger, if we get a Felstinger off on anything, Mega Beedrill just kills the entire team basically, because nothing lifts anything from a plus 3 Beedrill. So that's that. Knife Kiefer, the weaker Vault is here to help. Leftover, Sticky Web, Bruce, 10 Power, Ice, and Volt Switch. Sticky Web, so we can get our webs up, and so Scarf Coco isn't gonna be sweeping us anytime. Scarf Lando is still gonna be a big threat. But that's something I can't change, sadly. Um, other than that, Scolipede, I guess, has to speed boost twice in order to outspeed my Beedrill, which is good. But that's gonna it, it's gonna get that anyway, because Beedrill can't KO it without a attack boost. So that's that. Roost for recovery, hidden power eyes to hit the Landorus, which otherwise walls us, because we only have both switches or the move. And Volt Switch for the Switch Momentum because Look of Volt is slow and we can slow switch into a B roll or anything and scare something out or kill it. Knochen Trocken, the Merrak is here, Assault with Battle Armor. Battle Armor preventing us from getting critical hits. And from from getting critical hitted. Not from making ones, because that would be a stupid ability. Earthquake for Stab, because why not run a Stab move counter? Because. Counter? I don't know, I didn't know what to do with Merak. it's just a sponge Mar type of coco, really. <laughs> so yeah, Counter for, yeah, I don't know, maybe you can kick, stay in on Melcham and blow that thing back, or Landris or something. Endeavor for the same reason, on a special attacker, and knock off to knock off items. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about the EVs. Um, Mega Beedrill is outsped is EV to outspeed Tapu Koko, which is the fastest thing on his team if you don't count plus one Scolopede, but we can outrun plus one Scolopede. Knife Gaver is physical bulky, so we can leave a few more hits from Mega Medicham because with the calm nature, Coco doesn't do that much with us with special attacks. Knochen Trocken is more especially defensive to be the counterpart to Wicker Vault, so it can sponge the special side of Coco, but it also can still sponge pretty well on the defensive side, given that its stats are pretty similar. 
The best ghost team is Magius, is expert belted, shadow ball power, gem hand power, ice and mystical fire. We are EV to outspeed Landorus and Mega Medicham naturally. So, and as long as he isn't Scarf Landorus, Miss Magius outspeeds it and kills it with Hidden Power Ice, which is very crucial. We also do 50, more than 50% to Coco, we kill Scarlipede, we do 50% to Shaman, we do a pretty decent chunk to Raporeon. Milting walls us, Tordinator dies to get, takes about 70% from, 75% for a power gem. Mage Gem dies, Kuparaja is 2 KO by Mystical Fire, Mushana is 2 KO by Shadow Ball, and Cryogonal is also 2 KO by both Power Gem and Mystical Fire, so that's that. Löwenzahn, the Elgos, which has a pretty sick shiny. Leftovers, Regenerator, Rapid Spin, Sleep Powder, Aroma Therapy, and Leech Seed. I know, I know, you You are wondering why I'm bringing Sleep Powder against a team with Electric Drain. Um, because I don't know what else to run, and... Well, if Electric Terrain rays off, getting a Sleep Powder on, off on something like Landorus would be so crucial and beneficial and could win me the game immediately. Roma Therapy to get rid of Status, Rapid Spin to get rid of Hazards, Leech State for Passive Recovery on other mons. We are physically defensive, so Mega Medicham doesn't straight up murder us, and yeah. Lava Dome the Heatran is the last mon, Sugar Berry Flash Fire. Stealth Rock, will Flame Flamethrower, and Explosion. With the Sugarberry, we lift a Earthquake from an offensive Landorus, as long as it's not Adamant. And do not much back. <laughs> but we lift an Earthquake. So that's that. Um, eventually, sets up rocks, which could help a little bit to trip things down for Beedrill. will would help to get Burns damage off on some of his other mons, like Landorus. Flamethrower is good stab and explosion gives us a free switch in into something as well as some big big damage and like Vaporeon or Cryogonal which would otherwise wall us because Cryogonal is a special wall and I'm nervous. Um, this is DLC as well but I don't know anything about DLC so... Oh yeah. Um, I, um... At the moment of this recording well, I shouldn't really say it because. Never mind, just ignore what I said. At, at the moment of recording this, my draft analysis isn't up yet because I'm still waiting on something, but that's not gonna matter because I'm not going to upload this video until my draft analysis is up, so just ignore that. Oh, I'm scary. No, not. I'm, I'm nervous. That's what I meant to say. I'm nervous. Because I really, 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 really am scared of this team. And especially because everybody says like, Oh, you are going to make this. You are a good player. No, I'm not a good player. I just... I'm not a good player. Uh, so I'm expecting Coco, Lando, Mega Medi, maybe Vaporeon, maybe Shaman, maybe Cryogonal, maybe Meal Tank. Maybe Scolipede, I don't really expect Shaman to come, I don't really expect Mashana, I don't really expect Terminator. That's pretty much what I expected to come. Nice. <laughs> oh, God, oh, God. Wait, no Medicham. No Medicham. No Medicham. He has Miltank and Vaporeon though, which wall my Miss Magius. Coco I don't like, Landorus is the big, big, big threat. The sooner we can get rid of Landorus or chip that thing down, the better. So what do we lead with? I feel like either Lava Dome or Knife Kefer, but I feel like one of the other is a very obvious lead. Because if he leads Coco, then yeah, I guess I could threaten out La Coco with Lava Dome because he would fear a um, a thingy, an Earth Power. <clears throat> Where's the board?
I'm waiting for now because I, I um, I'm unsure if you can start already. It's suffering, isn't it? Don't to play. Okay, okay. <sighs> so, leads. The one thing I'm super, super, super bad at. Um. So, the most prominent leads here are either Lando or Coco. Land because they are both can easily switch up with Wall Turn. So who do we lead with? Knochentrocken? Knochentrocken can't really do much against Landorus. The best Ghosty can't really do much against Coco. Lava Dome, I don't want to throw out just yet. Knife Kefer gets decimated by Landorus. B is not gonna lead in any case. And Leuven Zahn doesn't do much. And I don't want that to get chipped too much. Um, leads are always very difficult for me because I'm a counter player, so I usually go into the mon that counters the mon that's on the field, logically. Pokemon is a chess game after all, board game. Get your thingy. I don't know how was that? Who's joining? I really think he leads Landorus because it counters both Lava Dome and Knife Kefer. But if I lead the best Ghosty, he could just knock me off if he is Scarf because I'm pretty, pretty sure. I should have calculated that. I wanted to calculate that before I go into the match, but I'm pretty, pretty sure that a knockoff kills me. I'm pretty, pretty sure a knockoff kills me. Yeah, a knockoff kills me. So we have to scout for that, because we don't want to lose our mismanages. <sighs> Put in the currents right now when I should lead. Oh god. I'm so bad, I don't know what to lead. Because if I lead Knochentrocken, then that thing can't do anything against Landers apart from knock off that thing's whatever. And the thing that and the thing is he also has Vaporin and Meltang, both heal banners. So burning Landorus first turn isn't gonna be very valuable because he can just heal ball it later on. So I need to preserve my lava dome. Ah, I really don't know what to lead with. I don't know what to lead with. <laughs> Why is this so difficult? <sighs> I'm pretty sure I died to a Stone Edge. Wait, what? Excuse me? Landorus? You... What? Landorus doesn't Oko me with a Stone Edge? Holy fucking damn. Vika Vold, I really highly underestimated you. I don't know why they are talking shit about Eldegoss. Why is it gonna be set up for the just sleep powder and switch or leech seed and then drain them off? It's such a great utility mon. I don't know what they are talking about. And can we talk about that? That Stone Edge doesn't kill. What? I think I can just leave me up. Ah, 
I don't know what I'm doing here. This. <laughs> Stop talking shit about Eldegoss. Eldegoss is great. I think I just need Knight Kiefer. Glamorous, okay. I expected that, so we can hold. HBIs has a good chance to kill. But he might just U turn here. More set of rocks. The thing is, he can always miss Stone Edge, but if he crits me, then I die, and that would be really bad. What other items does Slanderous usually run? Also, if I take 75, then I can't really do much else with Mikarold anymore. Yeah, he do turns, damn it. I should have I should have gone for the webs. Cryogonal, yep, to scout. So cryogonal. What are you doing against me? Do you even do anything against me? Not really. The thing is, if he rapid spins here, then he's fast enemy, guaranteed. Who needs U turn? I could go into my lab. to my heat trap. But if he's HP ground, that would be bad for me. He could very well be HP ground. I don't think he would go here for an HP ground. I think he's going to. No, he's, he outspeeds me anyway, so he's probably. I don't know. I'm world switching. Freeze drive, for the rear. Sauron, lol. So I should scare him out with that. And he should go into the Porion. He should go into the Porion here. I guess he has HP ground. But if he has HP ground, I go into my Vika Vault again and roast up. He has free hazard removal. Cryogonal with defog and spinning, Coco with defog and Lando with defog. Also the fact that he U-turn first turn lets me believe that he is Scarf Lando indeed. So that's that. I would assume he switches into Vaporeon here. assume that because why wouldn't he? Vaporeon sponges everything I can do, it sponges my steel and fire stab, and I don't have any coverage for electric or grass. Apart from like grass is not I think, and grass not is not gonna do anything to Vaporeon because Vaporeon is not a fat boy or girl. Well it is, 
fat in the sense that it's bulky, but it's not heavy. <gasps> I just need to build a way for my Beedra to sweep. Ray 39, I sh Beedra should outspeed that. Yeah, if Beedra should definitely outspeed that. Don't tell me my Beedrill doesn't outspeed. 399. Yeah, I outspeed Cryogonal. He could go into Miltank as well because of Thick Fat, but then he would risk um, eating a Flash Cannon to the face. I also don't like that he did so much. Actually, let me calibrate it. Why did you do so much with thingy? Is that a normal clock? 30 to 35? How much did you do? Yeah, that's normal. That's a normal roll. It was just a pretty high roll. Yeah, goes into Vaporeon as expected. Now what are you going to do? I go into my Elder Goth. As you scold me, can I get a burn? Ah, no burn, sadly. <laughs> go to Zim! So that did 13 to me. Are you offensive, Vaporeon? I think so, because that did way too much. Well, maybe you are just modest? I don't think that was just a high roll. Yeah, I think he's just modest. Let's assume he's modest and he has ice. Doesn't do that much to me. Mill tank. Oh! <laughs> See? That was what it's doing. I forgot! That's tech. Why mill tank? And just so you can sponge my dress rose? Or why mill tank? What is. Oh yeah, I can't sleep later because it's off the ground! I didn't think about that! So, you are Sep Sipper. Interesting. I'm 100% certain that you are Sep Sipper, and you are probably going to rap to set up your rocks here. I would think. Or you are going to talk to me. Both of which wouldn't be very nice. So mill tank, sap super mill tank. Does that mean you're offensive? Let's assume so. Let's assume you're offensive for some whatever reason. And let's assume you have body slam. And earthquake, because why not? Because why wouldn't you be offensive? <laughs> Still doesn't do that much. Oh, because why is attack minus? Damn, I don't know. Nah, that's a roll. Oh, okay. So if I go Heatran, Earthquake does a decent chunk and I can get paralyzed. If I go Miss Magius, pretty much nothing he has really do that does much to me, but You really don't get it, huh? <laughs> the thing is, if I go Miss Magius, it can't do much back against Miltank. And that's the big issue. Did Miltank get anything that I'm not aware of? Like, what can you do against ghost types? Oh, you get Scrappy as well, but I go back. But you have, you have Sips, uh, Sips, 
this is the you have sub super. So no dark move that threatens me really and no ghost move that threatens me a lot. Hmm. I could go into Knochen Trocknen. Thing is, I don't know what this thing is gonna do. I would assume he set some rocks here. He also isn't leftovers, which is questionable. Why wouldn't you be leftovers? Zap zipper. <laughs> nice, I still don't do really anything. Hmm. How much damage would you do to my miss my my my, my rack? Not that much, but I wouldn't do much back either. How much damage would you do to my Well I can't really switch into my Ika Wolf because I'm slower. 72 So if you're not big fat 32 to 28 I move right at as landerous as I know Landorus is Scarf, I'm pretty sure it's Scarf. Do I go into Lava Doom here and risk being paralyzed by Body Slam? I he's just going to go into Vaporeon again. And I don't have a real switch into Vaporeon. Or he's just going to Earthquake me, which would suck. I don't know! I don't know what he would run on Miltag! <laughs> I'm over asked. What would you run a mill tank? What what does mill tank even get? Why do I know so little about this mon? Ah, you get the Amazon punches. You don't get Stone Edge, I think. Which is good. You do get Rock Slide though, which my weak bolt doesn't doesn't like. You also get Power Out Punch, which I don't like. I'm thinking either between Lava Dome or Knochen Trocken. Miss Magis can't do anything against Mill Tank. So... Why are there so many people, by the way? This is not like finals match or anything. I'm going Heat Tran, and if he Earthquakes me, well played. Yeah, he just the frogs. <laughs> he just the frogs. You asked it every time, Riz. I don't want to lose. Fine, I'm gonna unmute. Well, I no, no, no. I have to do the here in the battle options. Ignore spectators for now and just focus on yeah. Um. So I'm in. Miltank is here. He's going to go into Vaporeon. The fact that he switched down as well lets me believe. I want to scout if he has. Okay, he just has Seismic Toss. Let me just Rapid Spin then, because I regenerate. So 
so I think he is the standard set. Toxic, fine by me. So Stealth Rock, Seismic Toss, Toxic. Standard set. I see. Stealth Rock, Seismic Toss, Toxic. I don't like that. I do not like that at all. Why do I have nothing against this mill tank? <laughs> like seriously, why do I have nothing against this stupid mill tank? Do seismic toss kill me? If I go beaker vault. 27.9 27 and 27 yeah that kills me although I have left lovers but I'm slower okay star fox again I roost I see seismic tosses I roost again. Oh, you're a rocky helmet, I see. That means you must be physically bulky. Right? You gotta be physically bulky. Which means he trend would do quite a chunk actually. I gotta test it. Twenty seven point nine. <laughs> he sadly is somewhat specially bulky. Sadly. <laughs> um, special defense. Wait, are you max special defense? I think so. Mm, that's not good. That speed will kill at this range. I'm going for it. <clears throat> He's probably going Landorus here. But I need this thing to be gone. He stays in. And he lives. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate, that was a low roll. Is he... I'm confused what he is, because he is specially defensive because of the damage I did to him. He's... Are you... I'm confused, what set are you? I did 27 with my bolt switch. Which means you have to be specially defensive, because if you're not specially defensive, then that wouldn't do 27. But then I did... What? 
Then I did only 45? What's going on? Do I not max HP, I think? Let's say 248. Let's say 28. Yeah, I think so. I think he is some a little bit defensive and I had the lowest roll possible. That's sad. Because now my B-drill is weakened, that's not good. <laughs> I don't think I can break this thing. I don't think I can do anything against this apart from like stalling it out. It's like the only thing I can do. He's gonna move drink again. I'm gonna rapid spin. I need to switch. No, not. I don't know what to do here. I absolutely don't know. Do I need to explore on this thing? I'm trying to will wisp it. Because that would already help me a little bit because I would get some chip. I don't know what to do against Miltank. I really have no idea. I thought Beatrice would just 2 KO it and that's it, but no. Oporion, hi. I miss my Willow Wisp, cool. I don't know what to do here. I think I have to explode my Labodome here because I don't have anything I can do. Will I at least kill Vaporeon if I boom here? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't. I just, I just wouldn't. And I can't go Eldegoss anymore too. I think I lost already. I already lost. I don't know what to do. How much damage do I take from a Scarlet? Too much and I don't do enough back. The thing is, even if I do outspeed it, it's not gonna matter much because why would it matter? Ice Beam kills me, and I'm toxic. It's not gonna matter.
I don't have anything else I can do. I just don't. I lost. At least I got a spit F drop, hey. Not like it's gonna matter much, but hey, I got a spit F drop. Nice. And then I'm power. Ah, cool. Yeah, I lost. I You're just going to rapid spin me, yup. Your left over school. Freeze dry and rapid spin. And recover. And HP ground. Nice. Oh boy, I don't know what to do here. This thing kills my entire team. <laughs> I have nothing. I have nothing. I just have nothing. Why is this thing so stupid? I mean, yeah, Marag lives a freeze dry off to her. But what do I do back? Nothing, right? Oh yeah, no sugar. <laughs> Thirty three. And because it's rounded. Oh no, twenty eight. I'm stupid. I think I have to risk my heatran here. We still kill in 78. No, but explosions if he kills. So I'm exploding here. Or should I flame power?
I'm exploding. 35. Yeah, that's the basic roll. That's my B kill. 38 marks. Nope. So the Beedra should kill you, but you just switch into Thingy. Yeah, you definitely just switch into Miltank. I want to knock you off. Because that's very valuable. Then let me get some chip. Oh, you're so bulky. Does counter work with seismic toss? It is a physical move. Does counter work with seismic toss? Uh, no. I really want to know if, if seismic toss works. Why 200 HP? Oh, that's my stat. <laughs> I'm stupid. Let me read. Deals damage to the last opposing Pokemon to hit the user of the attack. Stun equal to twice the HP lost by the user from the attack. If the user did not lose HP from the attack, this move deals more HP of damage itself. If the opposing Pokemon's position is no longer in use, and there's another opposing Pokemon with it, which is done to hit instead, only the last two from what the attack is going to advise if the user is not. I just endeavor. Yeah. Just my drinks again, okay? I can't lead seed him because you know he is Sepsipa. I don't know what to do against this thing. Hi.
Do you even kill me, Monet? I know you're a Scorpion, but I'm an Elder Gauss. A Megahorn would kill me, I think. If he lands it. A Poison Jab would not. Merak takes also a lot of damage from a Mega Horn, and Weaker Wall takes also a good chunk. I have to. Yeah, he protects, which puts me out of range of that. Yeah, I live a poison jab. Sleep powder hits. Okay. So I don't know what to do against this thing, to be frankly, I don't know what item it has, and I lost, but hey, we knew that already. So he's not life orb, what are you? Why do you only go for PJ? I don't think you got stone edge, I think you only got rock slide. That actually does less than Mega Horn, which surprises me. Oh, nice, a crit. I love crits. Hi, Mister. I can beat you. And yeah, who is going to rapid spin here and kill me? Actually, freeze try doesn't kill me. HP ground especially doesn't kill me. But yes, here's Landorus Fearian, and I know, I know you are. <laughs> yeah, you you turn on me. You you turn on me. Does a U turn kill me? Twenty four to twenty nine. Doesn't kill me. And I'm plus two. I don't kill him. Goodbye, Miltank. Scarlipede. You definitely kill me. And you are definitely going to protect you as well. I only saw Pijap from you though so far. Well, now I also saw Mega Horn. You also have Mega Horn.
Poison Drop actually is a broad kill. Yeah, you protect. And I hit her eyes. Then I roost. How much HP is my... Not enough. Ah. <sighs> well... It did. So my only chance is if... Well, that was a choke, I think. So... I need him to, to sleep two turns. That's the only way I can win. I need him to sleep two turns. If he wakes up here, I lose. If he wakes up here, I lose. Definitely. Okay, he doesn't wake up. Landorus comes in again. We protect to scout what he is. You have cracks, okay. I go into my dinghy. There's Coco. And people say Eldegoss is bad. <laughs> this is why Eldegoss is not bad. So the question is, what are you? U-turn doesn't kill me, Thunder doesn't kill me. Um, what about Dazzling Gleam? I wish I had Protect Dots of him and this. Dazzling Gleam doesn't kill me and if he is physical... Ow. Play rough. If you have Brave Bird, that might kill me. Hey, you trans, okay. But yeah, that's game. Because you U turn again. Yep. Pretty. So let me see, are you are you Scarf Coco as well? Show me, are you Scarf Coco? No. Come on, give me the kill on Coco! <laughs> yeah. I said it once, I suck at Pokemon, I'm bad. That's what I mean, I'm bad. I didn't prep for Miltank because I thought Miltank is a shitty mon. Who cares about Miltank and then Miltank bodies me and same for Cryogonal. I was just way too scared of Scarf Lendo, which did come and I managed to play around because Eldegoss is gold. Uh, not like... Uh, oh, whatever. 
빨리 일어났더니 왜 이제 So yeah, I'm sorry that my first week is uh, post replay. So my first week match is loss, and I played trash. But hey, at least we managed to get out of the six zero. And yeah, I'm aware that hex is always against me, so meh, I'm used to it. I played horribly as well, so I deserve it probably because I absolutely played like trash. Not knowing how to counter Miltang and Cryogonal, even though Cryogonal is such a trash mon. But yeah, it's my fault for prepping so poorly, and yeah, it's my fault. Entirely my fault, so yeah. He played well, prepped well, and played well. Better than me, which, I, which is what I expected. <laughs> I'm not a good player, I shouldn't be in this division. Anyway. I'm gonna head out here. Hopefully the week two is gonna be a little bit better. Um, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. I don't know. This is probably very boring to watch, but it's Pokemon content, okay? I'm trying to be entertaining, but I'm not. <laughs> I wish I know how to edit stuff so I could edit funny things or something, but I don't know how, so... I hope people are gonna enjoy this one way or another. If not, then that's how it is, and I have to live and I have to live with it. Anyway, wish y'all a good time, wish y'all a good day, and see y'all. Load my. Thing.